Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for another edition of my weekly Wednesday video, Smarter Real Estate. I'm Julie Tam, managing broker at Lynn Realty here in Houston, Texas. Um, today I find myself in the medical center area. Obviously during this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, this is uh, the really center of um, our area's fight against uh, infection of this coronavirus for patients in the greater Houston area. Um, this is the world's largest medical center. Um, and so this is where a lot of people have been coming uh, to hospitals in order to get treatment and uh, for other diseases and issues as well. Um, so I happen to be in a condominium community. It's gated. Um, that is in the medical center where we manage uh, several units um, and we also manage units in other communities in this med center area. I'm actually here today to walk through a vacant unit. The tenants have just moved out um, and I have to come and see the condition um, and just um, check to see what kind of make ready needs to be done to get it ready to be put on the market for lease again. So uh, in order to stay safe, um, I am social distancing. Really, I've hardly encountered anyone while I've been out here, uh, but of course, I'm also uh, wearing a mask. All right, so this is gonna be an upstairs unit. What is unique about the med center area for um, condos and also apartments um, is the types of people who tend to choose to live around here. So you get a good mix of students um, from the Rice University area. Uh, which is nearby. Rice is literally across the street from the med center. Uh, that's my alma mater. And then you also have uh, some professors and other staff or faculty from the university, but not just from Rice, um, even from, you know, UH. Wow, why is this door so hard to open? Oh my God. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I really had to push there. Okay. Um, and see Get some lights turned on go ahead and lock the door to be safe I always lock the door when I'm inside a property because you don't want any random people just coming in I'll just get my stuff all situated here um, so yes um, we also get you know researchers um, and, and medical professionals whether it be doctors or nurses um, or other technicians that assist in the medical field um, and of course, there's all sorts of other people too that have nothing to do with the um, categories that I've described. Um, one unique category is that there are some condos that are furnished and they are meant for short-term leases. We don't manage any uh, such condos. It's just not part of our, um, our business model and, and what we do as a company, but um, there are some folks who will rent out their condos to patients who are coming from out of town, out of the country even, uh, to get treatment at our medical center because we do have world-renowned uh, facilities and physicians, um, including MD Anderson, for example, the Cancer Center, um, and, and a number of others. And so there is a lot of um, influx of folks from all around the world. And sometimes instead of staying for a hotel, it just makes more financial sense to stay in um, a condo where they can pay some rent that it's cheaper. Um, and if they know they're going to be here, say, for a few months, um, but not say a year, then they can have this as an option. All right, so um, this is a condominium um, that we actually recently installed this new flooring in. This is a vinyl wood flooring, and um, I'm tapping with my foot because you can hear that see. it's not a hard flooring, so it's not that wood-looking tile that we have seen recently with the um, you know, that has really gained popularity. This is a softer look. It is not wood, it is a vinyl product, but um, it looks nice. Um, it looks like wood. Of course, once you tap on it, you can tell that it's not. All right, um, also has this nice tile around the fireplace. The fireplace is going to need to be cleaned. And as we step into the kitchen, um, this is a faux granite. In other words, not granite. It's a formica, but it looks nicer than kind of the old school formica that's like a cream color. This has a granite look, but it's less expensive. And um, really some of these condos are being upgraded and um, updated. So, you know, um, 
if things are not in good condition with the countertops, that would be an opportunity to, to do that. These look fine though, so I think that for now we'll just leave it as is. Uh, the cabinets look to be in good condition as well. But again, if we wanted to do anything, we could potentially tear those out. The deal though with cabinets and granite is that if you're going to be um, replacing granite countertops, you might as well replace the cabinets at the same time because if you don't, later on, if you try to um, then replace the granite countertop, um, or I'm sorry, if you, if you later try to re uh, replace the cabinets, uh, trying to uh, remove the countertop in order to do that, most likely will cause the countertop to crack. And so it's better to just replace everything at once if you're going to replace the countertops. So this unit has a stackable washer dryer. Thing that's unique about this, in case you're not familiar, is that um, when they are connected like that, it gets very expensive because when you have to replace one of the appliances, if say the washer doesn't work or the dryer doesn't work, but the other one does, you have to replace the whole unit and it can be upwards of $1,000. Here's the walk-in closet. And we have a mirrored door <laughs> for the bedroom here. It is a two bedroom. Let's see if I can show it. It's a challenge of doing a selfie video. The last few weeks, my husband has been shooting the video for me because um, I have been closer to home for those uh, shoots and he was available. And we also had um, someone to watch our son, but now I'm actually on my own again. Okay. I really hate going into properties when I see a uh, dead, dying, or alive insect, especially roaches. Um, woo! There is one in the toilets and one on the floor. Luckily, these are a couple of little ones. I'm not going to show them on screen because I know some people are not fond of those in either, so I don't want to subject you to that. Uh, but anyway, we'll get that taken care of. It's a pretty clean unit. These folks have taken decent care of it. There's certainly some um, normal wear and tear on things that need to be done, but it's not bad. So this is the bathroom. It's shared by the two bedrooms. You've got vanity, a knee space for makeup or whatever else you want to use that area for, and then a separate um, room, which is the water closet with your toilet and then the tub shower. And the um, flooring, as you saw, and the uh, living area is also extended to both bedrooms. I see another little tiny dead roach. It looks like maybe there's a little bit of a roach issue. Um, Sometimes when you live in multi-family um, units like this where you know you have an entire community, then insects can come from the neighboring units. Yeah, so. All right, and this one also has a sliding glass door for the mirror. I have been to properties where horrifyingly you open the front door and roaches just fall from the door frame from the ceiling. It, 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 oh my gosh. So I've learned. <laughs> from experience that when you open the front door, you don't just come barging in, you just open it, let things fall where they may, and decide if you want to step in or you call the pest control people first. <laughs> so here is that at the foyer, um, in case I didn't catch this at the beginning, uh, this shelf area. So it's a little odd looking, I'll tell you that, but that's available. And then of course, a uh, French door. Um, it's actually only one door that opens of these uh, two, uh, panels here um, that go out to the balcony, and there's also a uh, closet, a storage closet. Let me see here. I'm gonna push open these vertical blinds to get a better view. There is a covered carport uh, parking space that is reserved for this unit. So let me see. That is. Um, I just wanted to check something. So that is a positive and it's not very far away. It's literally just across the parking lot that way, diagonally. So you're you know, talking about um, just walking several yards or so um, to get to your condo unit. So anyway, that's it for today. I'm just gonna swing around so you can see the high uh, ceiling there. Very nice, very open plan. Um, great for entertainment. You've got like a dining area right there under that chandelier, um, just beyond the bar there, the breakfast bar, the kitchen, and then this whole living area here in this room. So I'm going to switch hands so you all can see that. Okay. Um, if you have any suggestions, questions, feedback, um, you know, ideas for future videos that I should do, 
I cover all sorts of real estate topics, really try to teach you how to be a smarter seller, buyer, tenant, or landlord, and also give you um, some practical strategies to use and take you on some of my real estate adventures. So hopefully you guys are staying safe out there and doing well. Please continue to um, follow all the rules of the CDC. We really need every single person on earth to help uh, make this virus uh, get more under control. And so that way, you know, we can um, ride this out until we get a vaccine and a cure. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you will like and follow and subscribe to my channel on Facebook and YouTube. And I'll see you again for another edition of my weekly Wednesday video series, Smarter Real Estate. Have a great week, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.